Hola, buenos dias, y bienvenidos a Gordon's Diaries. This morning, um, I never got a chance last week to do um, um, one of our past tense videos. So I thought I would just do a very quick one whilst I was out with the doggies today um, in the countryside. So there was something that I mentioned uh, when we were talking about the preterite. Remember, the preterite is the I. I came, I saw, I conquered. That's what the preterite tense is. Yo vine, vi y conquiste. Okay? Now, when we do that, we are giving a list, yes? We're giving a list of sequential actions. And so, what my message is, and it's very important, that you can't do two things at the same time with the preterite. You just can't do it. However, there is an exception. Let me tell you how I found out about this exception. On one of our immersion courses was maybe let's say three years ago um, we were talking about this with the students and I was waxing eloquent about the fact that you can't do two preterite at the same time it's impossible it's scientifically and physically um, and chemically impossible and so I was writing on the board some examples of what you can't do and I said to the class for example you can't say mientras estuve allí, lo hice. So whilst I was there, I did it. And I used estuve and hice. And Cynthia, who was with me at the time, said, uh, <coughs> Gordon, yes you can. Now, let me explain what happened to, to me in that moment. So, here's me, who I've been talking about not being able to do two things at the same time for uh, five years, for more than five years at that time. And then Cynthia said, actually, you can. Well, in front of the class, I was like, what? So I kind of stumbled my way through it and, and said, well, you're right, well, well, here's an exception, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Afterwards, I was thrown into total confusion because I thought, if this is true, if this is true, then everything that I've been teaching is a lie and every concept that I've been teaching about the past won't work. So I was quite concerned. Anyway, so I pinned Cynthia down to the floor, to the ground, and got the truth out of her. And the truth of the matter is that this is an exception. It only happens with estar. And it only happens here in Spain when you say, whilst I was here, I did this. Okay? And it is a one-off exception, but it does exist. So, for example, let me give you the examples which, which are the most common. These are things like, Mientras estuve en España, aprendí español. Okay? Mientras eh, estuve en Inglaterra, eh, hice la carrera. All right, so whilst I was in Spain, I learned Spanish. Whilst I was in England, I did my degree. So it's a very specific use of to preterite. It's always with estar. It doesn't work with any other verb that I'm aware of. It's only estar. And the sentence always goes, mientras estuve. Okay, so it doesn't... It doesn't work in other, other cases with estar either. It's just always mientras estuve, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Um, I went to, I was, I was sort of, we were writing the book on the past tense and I thought, wow, I'm going to have to uh, investigate this. So I went away on a course and whilst I was on the course, I started to ask lots of people. There was this course, a Spanish speaking course. And everybody there were, f were from different places. Somebody was from Uruguay, someone was from the south of Spain, someone from the north of Spain, someone from Madrid. So I asked them all, and could you believe it? I got different answers from different people. Everybody had a different idea. Some people said, mientras estuve uh, was correct. I, I used the example, mientras estuve en Francia, aprendí francés. Some of them said, yes, absolutely, that was correct. Other people said, ooh, I don't know. Mientras estaba is fine as well. Some people said, um, no, I think mientras estuve is, is slang, is colloquial. The guy from Uruguay said, no, mientras estuve aprendí, no. Mientras estaba aprendía. So he gave me all the imperfect. 
So what's the answer? The answer is, yes, it exists. But let me tell you that if you chose not to use that, if you just chose to use the standard, mientras estaba en Francia, mientras, eh, sí, mientras estaba en Francia, aprendí el francés. There's nothing wrong with that. That is acceptable, completely acceptable. Some people would say, I would rather say mientras estuve. But it doesn't really matter. It's still okay to say it the way that we've learned, which is always put your background uh, action, your description of the action is the imperfect and the action is the preterite. So just be aware. I'm telling you this so that you can listen out for it because you will hear it. And when I heard it, well, I didn't really hear it. I was told it was brought to my attention. It shocked my, it rocked my world, but in a bad way. All right, but it doesn't need to. It's just something that they do. It's a little quirk of the rules, but the rules still stand. You can never do two preterite at the same time and always use the imperfect as your background uh, description of the action. Okay? So bear that in mind. Mientras estuve. Mientras estuve en el campo, grabé un video. Vale. See you later. Hasta luego.